Hey, what's up, YouTube? Today, I'm going to build a uh, remote on off switch for Raspberry Pi 3. Uh, you need a few pieces. To do this, we're not gonna do any programming. We're just gonna build a uh, physical switch uh, with remote control. So, uh, first piece you need is this one it's an RF relay circuit. You need 12 volts here and uh, the on off done by this section of the uh, relay and this section is the uh, RF receiver part and this whole thing, whole unit comes with the remote control uh, this one has an on off button uh, second piece you need is one of these this is a bulk boost converter so you can go from 5 to 12, 5 to 12 volts um, we gonna boost it uh, yeah, this is uh, very cheap. I got, I think, three, four, five bucks, I think. And this piece, again, uh, seven dollars. Comes with the remote control. You need one of these. It's a US USB breakout board. So only a reason I got this because I don't want to do micro soldering. Uh, this one comes with one of that. It's a pin header. This is a micro USB breakout board. You can get 10 for I think three dollars or something. You know some wires, and of course I made one of these. This is a power uh, distribution board, very easy to make. I just made like I just soldered two of these rows like this. They just parallel. You don't have to have it. I'm just doing it for my convenience, so I can just plug and play. Just like go to negative and plug the negatives in like this. Soldering iron. Uh, this is my old uh, soldering iron I got from uh, Radio Shack and you need cheap multimeter you don't need anything expensive as long as you can set the uh, uh, voltage from here and the last thing you need uh, is this it's a uh, project box I can say um, that's all the stuff that you need so let's get started Alright guys, so I soldered this one, that's a micro USB breakout board and I also soldered things to this one, right here. So I just, uh, I, you know, I just um, soldered just regular two wires. I used uh, some breakout wires from uh, Raspberry Pi 3. That's it, that's pretty much it. So we're gonna connect all of them together to see how it's gonna work out and then I found out this one will work on 9 volts, so dial this one into 9 volts. Okay, let's do it. Let's connect all of them together, alright? This is how it works. See, the, uh, this is the Raspberry Pi uh, power cable. So, power comes through here and divides through this uh, power distribution board that we made. Okay, and then some of that power goes to the boost converter and boosts it to 12 volts okay in my case I boosted to 9 volts and goes into relay okay and the other section power comes through here and it gets distributed uh, it's, it's still five, 5 volts right the negative wire goes straight to the USB breakout for the Raspberry Pi and then however positive goes to the relay right here and from the relay uh, comes out it's really is a switch pretty much so from there goes out to this so whenever you press this button on see so now the uh, this USB port is on so whenever you press the button off so now this is off so th that's the only thing it's nothing really complicated so now you have to um, you know get your project box and make a nice enclosure and you're good to go alright guys uh, it's all done uh, look it's a one giant mess over here uh, check this out I'll try to zoom it in you know I had to hard glue most of the components inside and um, I made some mistakes see it's pretty ugly on in front because um, I made a bigger hole 
than it's supposed to. But I hot glue everything in, and if you when you paint it, whenever you have a chance to paint it, you're fine. And the front of it, and I didn't put a LED. Uh, if you want it, you guys can put a LED somewhere here or the top, so you know exactly when it's on. And other than that, just um, you know, close the cover and enjoy it. All right, guys. Um, <clears throat> so now the final update. So it's all done. Uh, see the wall power. Uh, this one has about uh, 3.5 amp, 5 volts. Or if you can find a 4 uh, 4 amp, that would be awesome. Uh, you need a little beefier power supply because uh, we are boosting the uh, voltage. So um, 3 amp won't be enough. So if you can find 3.5 or 4 amp, that would be awesome. Uh, so that's how it works. Power supply goes to our box that we made. Plug it right in the back of it. And then from out of it, uh, just a regular USB, uh, micro USB cable comes out and goes to my raspberry pi and sorry about the way it looks because i put a fan on it um so i'll show you a demo okay so you get the remote and hit on see raspberry pi is on lights are on so now it's booting up to uh cody I've been using for Cody, uh, my Raspberry Pi. So that's all. It works fine, and you can use this one to charge um, cell phones or whatever, whatever you wanna charge with. So when it's done, now when you power it off, uh, Raspberry Pi, or when you hit shut down, just turn it off. See, it's off. It's a very easy solution. I'm sure you can. Uh, I'll do the final numbers later, but you can get away with less than 20 bucks of um, 20 bucks, I think, for the parts and some little bit effort. It's no programming; it's just uh, plug and play. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Um, if you really, really like it, uh, please consider subscribe to my channel, and I will make another video for a different kind of um, another kind of uh, switch with the remote control so I'll see you later bye bye